Now, I highly recommend just watch TB Bond. It's one of those animes from Netflix that actually is very good. Of course, it's something that is better that the less you know, the better the anime becomes. Because if I started talking, explaining what this is, it kind of ruined all the surprise twists and turns that I kind of try not to spoil it, but be, yet it had to be fully explained what this show is about. But be known, I'm trying not to spoil that much. Of course, what is sort of the plot of this anime is basically you follow a kid called Bond, who sort of accidentally to meet a time cop, or accidentally kind of erupt her job. But because of this, he saw her, and her saw him. Now they're in trouble, and figure what to do with Bond. Because the rule of the regulation a time cop is very strict. They have to make sure no one has seen a time cop any other day time. If they do, they have no choice is to eliminate that person because this person can easily affect the time stream. So Bond has basically two choices. One, die, or two, join them. And this was sort of tells you most of the people who are time cops are the people who sort of interrupted their own work with someone else. But the only reason why he got chosen to become a time cop because he's very important in the timeline. That he does something to basically influence the history of man. This is the reason why they give him the other choice. If he didn't, he wasn't that important, they easily eliminated him automatically. And this was sort of make this anime series so interesting. It sort of asks that question, how important is time travel and how important are the rules and they play with the idea with bond like what would happen he eats a sort of piece of fruit a specific time that is not yet ready to be fully flourished or explore that pacific island it become sort of lost because one episode bond ate a fruit but that fruit wasn't ready or the fruit is the only type of fruit on that pacific island now it doesn't exist anymore because bond ate it that is just sort of interesting because each single episode sort of explore a certain rule even the rules are just so fascinating of course before i get started my name is Rachel. I like to talk about animation, not just animation, do reviews, first impressions, cartoon theories, and sometimes, if I have some spare time, cartoon breaking news. Of course, if you like how it's going, you like to help my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. One of those things really does, especially how small I am, I around 900 subscribers, and I'm getting close to my main goal to 1,000 subscribers. Hoping that I can pass that goal. Of course, all, if all the new subscribers and the people who like, comment, and subscribe, really does help if you do thank you if you don't that's okay doesn't really matter you're right here just to talk about the animation now uh tb bond how it really is is just so interesting i mean to be fair it's not the first uh time family show out there in fact this is sort of a very specific genre of a time travel sort of kind of show because you've seen others i think the one come up in my head or the last one i saw is Heroes of Tomorrow from CW. That's probably the last one I saw. But I usually like this type of shows because they have fun with it. How to not break the rules. It's more like how you go around the rules while breaking it. And that's all about this anime. Because Bond, he has to be sort of a, a join this organization by force. Because they put in certain positions, they have to figure out how to save a specific person for a certain scenario. One of the examples is probably is he had to save a woman, but this woman won't leave because she has waiting for her son. And you can understand why she's waiting because the specific time period she actually lived, that they're on basically World War II and her son left to war. But she didn't have a half chance to talk to him the last three years. And she was not moving to his own son come back. But you feel empathy with this old woman. You understand her patience. She will not move. The only problem is the whole place she lives about to fall in by sort of a thunderstorm. And Bon and her partner had to figure out how to basically convince her to get out. 
Now, some of you are thinking, oh, I can easily force her out. And that's the problem. This is when all the rules come in. Because the time cops are very strict for a reason. Because this show proves to you why you sort of cannot force someone or or uh, cannot scare them to do something. Because they affect them to do the specific thing they need to do in the near future. So this is the trick. How you convince someone not to do it. But not even interfering or even talking to them. They have specific rules they can't interfere that much. Can be barely unique. So they can ask questions or give them directions or the wrong direction to move them when they need to be. But yet they're people. They actually have their own pain and thoughts. And they can't even explain why they have to move or do something specific. Because once again, rules. And this is the thing it just grabs you so well. It's sort of what you do in your own, their own position, how you convince this person. And I love that sort of idea and the exploration. I think, once again, the example I talk about the old lady, she wouldn't budge. But once again, because the rules bond and her partner can't force her, so they decide to bring their son to her. But once again, they cannot really force the son to move to a certain location because they only could do cer certain things because of some of the rules. And one of the problems is the sun lives a completely different part of Japan. Almost like maybe 10 hours or 20 hours away. But in the thunderstorm, he cannot move because of the train or boat. So they decide to fly him off. But the only problem is they cannot interrupt. Everything must be feel natural. So how you move someone while actually force him to fly out of nowhere or explain to them why this strange, strange machine exists why he never heard of before. And once again, you basically kind of interrupting the timeline. You can give them this sort of weird explanation or something completely random because they confuse them and lose focus what they must do in the near future. This is the reason why this anime is just so interesting to watch to see how Bond and his partner sort of navigate this because there's a lot of different episodes that explore how to let's say save someone off the water or an island or a mountain and yet they cannot just pick them up they're not allowed to because they ask too many questions and that's just sort of fascinating because every single episode they have to study or research a sort of way to help or understand that specific person. In fact, one of the funniest things about this anime is all the gadgets they have to help them to convince that specific person to move or basically avoid the sort of location. But even that inventions they have from the future sometimes is not enough useful for the moment. For example, there is this sh uh, machine car, fine car that Bond has, but this machine can actually give them knowledge. Quite literally, it's basically Google that you just research and just ask some questions. Or well, I mean that he can basically download books straight to his head to remember everything about the rules, information of a certain location. But sometimes it's sort of like a burden because he remembers a certain specific rule, downloaded his head that he's not allowed to do it. Now he's sort of screwed, he can't do that specific thing. And once again, this is why it made this anime interesting to see Bond what to do. But on top of all this, I love it that this show doesn't wait to explain why Bond is so important. Usually, sometimes a time traveling show or time traveling cop, they explain, oh, you're so important for this simple reason. But you wait for it like in the end of the season or end of the whole franchise to finally explain who this person really is. But this show doesn't wait. They actually explain how important uh, Don really is. Is that he just kicks a rock. You think that's kind of hilarious, completely random. And Bond thinks so too. But when he kicked that Pacific rock, that Pacific time, he sort of pissed off this old man who chases him. He accidentally get the old man lost. He finds another child that he saved. That Char becomes sort of a famous doctor who helps this completely different person of his own care 
that Pacific person becomes sort of a president, and that Pacific president stops World War III. And that's what it makes this anime so interesting. That's why uh, Ben um, Bond so important because he needs to kick that rock. That honestly, they sort of surprised they show this soon, but they have a point. Like everything is connected, some shape, some form. Sometimes the different uh, possibilities to happen that specific event. Sometimes it's not a rock. Maybe it's something completely different. That old man fall down and found this well. That also can happen too. But this is a reason why Bond cannot be erased. He is one of a dozen different reasons why he is important. He could be or could not be. That's why they make him a time cop. To figure out what is the best scenario for a specific thing. He understand his motivation why he has to become a time cop. Because any little thing can actually change the human race. And that's why it's just sort of interesting. Also, that sort of fun is to understand all the rules, how they experiment all the rules, except it not to be broken, and how sort of this sort of uh, show expand about their rules. Because uh, in the show, they also explain they also have uh, different type cops. There's some of them just arrest people who basically uh, destroy or break the rules or abuse the power. There's also other different side of that organization to politics, to get information. They do explore a lot of different things about this specific job. And this is why it makes it so much fun to watch and recommend to see how Bond reacts and how he solves the situation. Even that Bond is not a specific boring character. In fact, Bond describes himself a average type of guy. But he's the type of guy who actually reacts to things before it actually happened. He's a guy who jumps for jumps first, asks questions later. Because that type of person are very important this specific job. It's almost he was sort of predestined to become a time cop because how important he really is and useful. He I love that they sort of explore his sort of ideas, who he is, and why this sort of important. On top of all this, this show is kind of gory. I mean, they have moments you just, well, not words, because you think this could be a sort of like a PG sort of Simon cartoon, because the art style, they feel something 1960s, 1970s, and no, um, this thing is gory, because they sort of need to understand there is very a dangerous job that Bond needs to sort of figure out and be careful. And that's why they have the sort of gorgeous moments, but there are very few in between. They only does it, they sort of need to explain the situation, how dangerous really is. And on top of this, this anime does teach you stuff that you not realize how interesting certain societies really are, certain time periods, certain locations, and etc. It's one of those, it's just a very fun anime that I fully, uh, uh, fully uh, recommend. In other words, uh, I have one question. Hi, you felt about this anime? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Tell me down below. Let me know. Honestly, I got nothing else to say. Just thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. You have a wonderful day. Bye.